Hi, I am Mark, the Digital Prof and author of the Digital Transformation Canvas. Today, we will speak about AI as a enabler of digital transformation, but also about the creation of digital strategic opportunities through AI. We have seen in the previous episodes that the fifth industrial revolution is characterized by interoperability, the ability to connect everything with everything, so we can exchange data, but we also can collect and analyze data for the purpose of AI, and AI as a digital technology which drives this fifth industrial revolution, which we have since the 2020s as a dominant topic in strategy development. We can see that AI is centered in all seven action fields of digital transformation. AI is a technology, it utilizes data as a key success factor for AI applications. AI mostly is embedded in processes of organizations, but it also has an impact on how we interact with the market, both on customer applications, but also how we commercialize our market offerings. And it also, of course, requires new digital skills and an ethical conversation about the future of employment and future organizational setups and structures. And so the fifth industrial revolution has that theme of AI since the 2020s. And let us just for a second move 100 years back into the 1920s, because this is when Artists have used robots in movies, and you might know these too. And we started to embrace that notion of potentially having computers which take over human tasks and skills. And it was Alan Turing in 1950, which wrote his famous paper on computing machinery and intelligence. And Turing explained that we have a human computer. It is based on a book of rules which we apply. And we have the digital computer. He coined that term of digital computers, which follow a table of instructions. And Alan Turing said that in some cases, computers will develop a free will. And now, 75 years later, we are exactly at this point. AI, artificial intelligence, therefore is around the ability of a digital computer to mimic and take over human tasks and human behavior. And in order for AI to function, we need data, as mentioned before. We need the algorithms, the rule book that helps us to learn from data and provide an output. But we also need computing power, the cloud, and strong performance from IT in order to process these tasks. And as mentioned before, interoperability, because only if we can collect data from other sources and enrich our data pool, we will be able, able to improve AI output. The most important terms when it comes to AI are machine learning and deep learning. Machine learning has limited capabilities, but it also has a better controllable complexity. An example of machine learning is a intelligent coffee machine or a spam filter. And on the other side, we have deep learning that's based on neural networks. Deep learning has much more layers. Through that, it can resolve more complex tasks. And we can see that on the example of Chen, generative AI, such as ChatGPT, which has uh, the ability to process more complex tasks. We have with the new EU AI Act a definition of AI. AI is the application of rules, algorithms, in a digital computer that can take over tasks and come up with decisions. 
we also have a definition of general purpose AI. That is when there is logic in any type of application, machine, computer. And so AI today is in many applications available and also in most of our devices and software of everyday application. AI can be utilized as a general rule in most of processes in organizations and it can be used to make data smart, to learn from data and help us with decision making. And you can see on that list here the many application areas of AI. Now AI provides many challenges to leadership teams, to organizations. They are ethical issues such as the potential discrimination of customer groups, security risks, scams, but also malware attacks or social engineering cyber attacks driven by AI, reputational risks, for instance, chatbots which provide a wrong information or a wrong answer as part of a customer service engagement through a chatbot with a customer. And there are legal risks such as lawsuits arising from the inappropriate use of AI or again AI giving wrong advice. And that leads to organizations having to take a proactive approach. We need a risk management framework but we also need to define an ethical AI leadership framework where we define what risks we're willing to take, but also how we use AI and ensure that we are not discriminating customer or user groups in society or are not providing or taking risks on brand damage that might harm the organizations when providing AI, not only as an internal function, but as an external function that engages with customers. We also have seen in a recent study among Swiss consumers that half of the Swiss population very much sees advantages in digital technology, but a quarter sees risks. And when we come to the specific question whether AI poses a risk, then over half of the 40-year-old and older customer groups regard AI as a risk for society. So clearly we have to proactively manage AI. Coming back to the organizational context as part of the fifth industrial revolution, we've seen in previous episodes that the digital business formula is that we should understand what customers would like from us, what technology there is, and how we can leverage data strategically. And if we have a clear understanding of customer expectations, technology availability, and the use of data strategically, then new digital business opportunities will present themselves. With AI, the formula looks slightly different. We take from the seven action fields of digital transformation, the elements of process management, process engineering, data and technology, and the AI digital business opportunity formula then is, let us understand what processes we have in the organization, which are data intensive processes. Let us understand what data exists in that process and what technology we can leverage and these three action fields together will result in digital strategic AI opportunities. My invitation and advice to you is to run strategy workshops with your employees, those who work on a daily basis in key operational business processes. Let us understand where data intensive processes exist, what data could be leveraged and used for AI opportunity, and how you would implement technology to take advantage of AI as a digital enabler, but also a strategic driver of digital transformation. At the core of that is data, 
And we already spoke about the importance of having a data management framework that provides a holistic view of what data is available, at what quality levels, where it is currently used, so we can create a data management plan that will improve the quality of our data for the use in AI use cases. I hope that you will take advantage of the Digital Transformation Canvas and the previous 17 episodes of the Digital Transformation Canvas. I wish you all the best in your AI Digital Opportunity Identification Workshop. Further information is available on the digitaltransformationcanvas.com. Mm -hmm.